you know, evening there by you. Um, thank you for taking this call with me and just to answer a couple of questions the last couple of days or even weeks I've been hampered with questions about your, what shall we call it, credibility. Um, and I know you now for some time and we've discussed quite a few things and I appreciate that we do this on a public forum. So I'm just going to ask you four simple questions and if you can just answer on them, uh, I'd really appreciate that. So the first one is, do you really have an algorithm that you've designed and that is helping with uh, the forecast and predictions of your crypto reports? Absolutely, Devald. Uh, the algorithm that I developed is actually the algorithm that I use in the oil and gas industry. Now, my clients consist of the largest oil and gas majors in the entire world. Now, the same algorithm that I use to predict future pathways in oil and gas majors, for example, I can predict based on their past history, if they keep on working in a similar way that they do, the chance to have a fatality, a near miss or incident becomes a probability. And that same probability equation that I use is the same equation that I now use in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. If you take the past history of Bitcoin and you can allocate certain data points, what happens is history repeats itself in a certain sequence. I just managed to do a lot of work, find out all the high and low points, duplicated that, converted that into a Apple algorithmic chart combined with gold and silver, and most of those patterns would actually align. And you've seen oh. recently that multiple of my videos, I refer back to Apple, the Apple chart. And just now recently, as a matter of fact, uh, if you look at my algorithm, the AMTR, remember the algorithm major trend reversal. In that AMTR, I refer back to the Apple pattern, the Apple algorithmic pattern where I say that Apple did this right. in 1999 till 2005, you know, five, six, seven year period. And you'll see that Bitcoin did that in about four months. So I just managed to get an algorithmic pattern which work in cycles. Those same cycles, if you look at my videos in 2017, where I was the first one that came out and said there was a 30 to 31 day cycle. In uh, uh, December of 2017, Bitcoin went down. In January of 2017, sorry, 2018, Bitcoin went up. In February, Bitcoin dropped. So it's up, down, up, down. And then you'll notice that I came out with the same algorithmic pattern from June last year till December where the market went down and up, down and up. And you can go and have a look at those videos. And now recently, if you look at now, January, February, March, remember the videos are there where I came out and said we are now in a 16-day cycle. These are algorithmic cycles. Now, the market will always move upwards in a certain percentage downwards in a certain percentage, but overall, you get these algorithmic cycles that I just happen to identify, and all I do, I go and work out what the high points are, the low points, and I work out dates. It's Perfect. a simple process of your y-axis and your g-axis, and this is why we use the Python y-axis with your moving averages. I know it's a complex uh, explanation no, that's yeah, that's, but, uh, that makes perfect sense but there's definitely there's definitely an algorithm and many people are trying to get their hands on this algorithm and nobody can figure it out they're the only people using it all right that's brilliant then the second question do you ever guarantee your predictions in a certain sense nobody can guarantee anything i can uh I think if anybody says they guarantee a certain price, it's probably by mistake or, and we shouldn't really guarantee on anything. What I have done in the past, and I think this is what people are alluding to is where I said that I will guarantee you that you can get your money back if you do not make a certain amount of percentage. Now, at this moment, for example, if you look at, uh, we've got a certain high point, and I don't want to say here on this video now where the high point is for Litecoin. Yeah. Litecoin is going to head into a certain, certain high point. Now, that high point is kind of like, we shouldn't say it's a guarantee, but it's a, it's a probability. The same as what I say, what a, it's an algorithmic probability. There's a probability that we're going to hit that target, and that target becomes 80, 90, or 99%. You cannot guarantee anything because there's too many factors in cryptocurrencies. Think about this for a second. 
cryptocurrencies uh, the world is worth about 300 billion dollars guess yes. what apple is worth 1.2 trillion dollars the entire crypto market is a third less than a third of the value of apple so anything that if you sneeze it influences crypto so you can't guarantee anything and if i maybe have said that in the past it's probably out of mistake but we we can't guarantee anything so it's in the moment you mean um just a quick question on that and then i want to move on to the next question um is you said that there's a percent if if you don't reach a certain percentage you'll guarantee the money back of the membership if i might ask what did you mean with that because i'm sure we're going to get a lot of questions yeah way back in the past and remember we don't do that anymore but okay way back that's in what i want to so I'm, it's not yeah, yeah. i'm i'm talking about the year six months uh, maybe two years even ago in the past what we did is we were so confident in our calls that we said to people look guys if we guarantee that if you buy a report and you don't make a hundred percent by the end of this year we'll refund you all your money okay perfect and uh and yeah anyway then then the next question marius um one that i get quite a few times and i've had some people sending me links but all the links looks like scam and virus sites and whatever the case is and very unclear copies but one is that you were once going under the name of jp moore and had the biggest twitter account what is that all about is that true yes that is correct uh, my alias between 2015 and 2016 was jp moore that's an alias name that i created now what i the work that i was doing was working on the algorithmic patterns for looking at which president or which president running or person running for president in the usa is most likely going to win my prediction model said that donald trump is going to win the election now at that point uh, we got a lot of attacks from all around the world because we came out and supported the president of the USA. Now, for us as protection, Devald, what I did is I created a name just called JP Moore as an alias so that people don't know who we are. Now, today people know who we are and Donald Trump has won the presidency. And uh, so it's a normal thing to do. Some people write books, they create an alias. Yes. And that's all I really have to say about that um, at this moment. Perfect. No, that's, that's, that's more than enough. So, Marius, again, thank you very much for, for coming on this call and just answering these questions. And then I'm just going to summarize it, and you're welcome to correct me if I'm wrong. But first of all, is yes, you do have an algorithmic pattern that you've developed, and that is helping you um, with various other factors out there to come up with your forecasts and your predictions from your uh, top 40 um, cryptocurrency reports. Uh, secondly, as you don't ever guarantee uh, the hit points or the high points or even the low points when you do mention them or put them in your reports, it is a relatively accurate indication of where the market is gonna go. Um, although in the past, some of your points was pretty much spot on. Um, a lot of people has made a lot of money, but also a lot of people has lost money because they misunderstood the things or there is one or two words that slept, slipped in that was misunderstood, bottom line. Secondly, you were JP Moore a um, couple of years back and that was an alias uh, because of a political campaign, not campaign, but political work that you were doing um, were using your algorithmic analytical skills and that's it yeah that's it devold you know we uh there's nothing more really to add excellent to that, you no know? I, I, yeah. I really appreciate what you do morris i've had the honor now to work with you for the last month or two um i've seen what to know it and bitcoin trend and forecast is all about um the reports people are coming out and the more and more we're working with it they are actually coming on and saying look now we understand what's going on and the reports are helping me on a long term so fantastic work and just for one last part and i know i'm the interviewer and whatever the case is but the to know it is not a ponzi scam it's not a, a, a yeah it's simply it's not a ponzi scam it is simply a affiliated program you don't have to partake in that and that's bottom line but yeah i think that's enough for now um 
we'll see you on the next report. I think it's next week, Thursday. So if anybody, I'll, at the end of the, uh, this video, I'll put your website on, uh, the marislandman.com, and people are welcome to go and read your testimonies and your statements there. That's correct. Thank you, Devold. Thank you, Marius. Have a great day. Cheers, man. Awesome. Bye.